let me tell you about my first official dog patient. Can I tell you about this? I would love to hear the story. Please okay. tell me. Okay. Well, this was back in 2010 when I was mm -hmm. actually training. And this was back when people did not have direct access to animal chiropractic care. So essentially a veterinarian actually had to refer the animal to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so I was like, yes, this vet veterinarian referred me my first patient and it was a 15 year old Lhasa Apsa. So at the time I didn't have a place in my office to adjust animals. So I went to their house and I show up and this dog is weak in the back end. I mean, it's almost bald, no hair, mm -hmm. um, tail, tails down is a big one. You know how a Lhasa Apsa's tail is supposed to be up and over its back. Well, it was like flopping around dangling in the wind. And I was literally given the referral because it was weak in the back end. So I looked at the owner. I said, how long has that tail been down? She goes, I'm not worried about that tail. That tail has been down for two to three years. And I said, okay, but so I'm still new at animal chiropractic and I delivered a chiropractic adjustment to this Lhasa Apsa. And that tail went from down all the way up to over its <sighs> back. In an instant, the, the owner was like, where have you been? <laughs> anyway, I, of course we had to do follow-up visits with this dog. So fast forward three to six months later, I can't remember because this was back in 2010, that dog grew back its entire coat of hair. Whoa. And that dog lived to be 17. Oh man. So, I got know, little goosebumps again. Like that's such a beautiful story. Yeah, animals just respond when we remove interference from the nervous system. The body does amazing stuff. God, that's how God designed us was to be self healing. I'm awestruck right now. I that story is just and so touching. Like people, people don't know until they know. <laughs> like. <laughs>